Um, our next <clears throat> excuse me, interview is going to be uh, Bhavna, and I'll just give a little preamble before I pass it over to Beverly, just that our community uses um, something called No Private Thoughts, where we just give each other permission to say whatever's on our heart, or whether it be ego or spirit, it doesn't matter. It's so that we don't repress or suppress, and we trust that the spirit is so strong in us, it can handle anything. So with that lead in, I'll pass it over to you, Beverly. Hello, Bhavna. Hi, Beverly. Thank you for joining me. I remember when you first came to Mystery School, you had some really strong experiences with sharing private thoughts and learning that practice that we have of exposing private thoughts, letting the darkness up to the light, and trusting the Holy Spirit to guide us through it all. Could you share some of that with us, please? Yes, thank you, Beverly. So before I came here, um, I really wanted an ideal place that I can um, be honest, be my true self and express myself honestly. And when I saw these two guidelines of no people pleasing and no private thoughts, that really um, struck me. And that was probably the main thing that attracted me to the mystery school. So I think it, it started to come up immediately. I think it was all just so eager to come up to the surface, to be honest. Um, we have these expression sessions um, almost every day uh, in the morning. And I would say probably the second or third session, um, I, I would say the, the mask that I was wearing that was people-pleasing, because I've had a, a, a people-pleasing issue my whole life. Um, I might say it started with the family, but you know, it's, it's for as long as I can remember. And by that second or third session, the mask started to crack and it wanted to fall. <laughs> And when it did, all this um, darkness, like shadows, wanted to come up. And this, this reminds me of something David was talking about this morning, like the face of innocence that I was using to sort of um, create this uh, peaceful image on the outside, like a, a nice spiritual mask for everyone. <laughs> um, it, it was just falling, and I had to express that darkness that was coming up. So I, I went to Lisa, uh, she's heading the mystery school, and I, I said, when you say no people pleasing, no private thoughts, uh, do you really mean that? <laughs> because I was really afraid if I share this darkness, I, I was afraid I was going to get kicked out of the school. Um, because it just felt so heavy. And there was a lot of judgment. I just wasn't sure if, if anyone was ready for it. So I, I shared, and, and Lisa said, yes, go for it. So she held the space strongly for me to just express what was there. And um, this was the ego letting up you know, what it believed about love, essentially, that it didn't love anyone, that it didn't care about anyone, and it was just trying to get its needs met in the world. And I shared this to her, and she didn't bat an eyelash. She, she said, this is totally normal for you to share this, and it's a very good thing that you're sharing this. And she actually encouraged me to share, share it in front of the group as well. So I, I did the same. And um, it might have, I guess, rattled a few people. But, but the, the whole space was, was so strongly held um, in non-judgment. 
and no shame in expressing these things. And what I noticed after I expressed these kind of um, dark thoughts is that it felt like this huge burden was released from my heart and there was so much lightness after that. It was almost like, what was I even, <laughs> what was that all about? It was as if it had evaporated into thin air. So the, the people-pleasing aspect, I think, for me, it comes from imagining that I'm part of other people's dream. And my prayer is to realize that I am the dreamer of this dream. And this is my dream. And so with that people-pleasing, will uh, it can't continue. So, yeah. Maybe I could... I could ask another question with that because I, you might might not be fresh for you, but you shared something that's really powerful was um, to us the other day that <laughs> yeah, when you were here for several years, you would be infatuated with somebody, and then you would hold back and isolate and kind of avoid that person for years, and you had an experience here. Can you still share that with us? Yes, I can share about that. Um, the funny thing is, it doesn't seem to come up as much these days. So <laughs> it's it's actually lessened, um, which is it's it's really good to even talk about it now because it, there's some distance. But um, yeah, I mean, there was a symbol that that was in this mystery school. Um, for me, it raised this old pattern of infatuation. And in the past, I would become infatuated with some person, and I wouldn't be able to express it to them, th these feelings of clinging and all that stuff, because I was afraid of judgment, really. And this was really keeping me from connecting with the other person. So. Here, I, I got the perfect opportunity because there was a symbol in front of me that, I, again, that played out. I became infatuated with this person. And um, he was also assigned to my pod um, and it was the leader of the pod. So there were many issues that came up, such as you know the authority problem. Even though I was having those feelings, I also didn't want to follow <laughs> his direction. and. I also had feelings of uh, jealousy with with other um, member of the pod, and then you know it was just, and there was also rage underneath that. And as I kept expressing these emotions um, openly, like I mentioned before, it was like layers of these um, uh, shadows and darkness were getting lifted from um, my uh, my heart, really. Mm -hmm. And I would just feel lighter every time, and it it would almost erase from my memory. I, I would think, what was that even mm -hmm. about? You know. So I can safely say that those feelings have gone down. I wouldn't say they're completely gone, but it's enough for me to talk about it now without feeling so triggered. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.